Hey everyone, I'm Foligon, and today we're going to look at how to create VDM brushes in ZBrush. If you don't know what VDMs are, well, that's because they are new to ZBrush. VDMs, or Vector Displacement Maps, are great for creating repeatable surface detail or structures that we would not be able to create with a standard alpha, displacement map, or normal map. That's because VDMs have the ability to not only create height and depth information, but also hold directional values for each of the map's pixels. That means undercuts and overhangs that were not previously possible now are. There are a number of scenarios where traditional maps just can't accurately reproduce the ZBrush model's surface. One of the best examples provided by Pixelogic is a mushroom, actually. A displacement map or alpha will only accurately reproduce the mushroom's cap. The shape would not be possible to create in full for the underhang underneath of the cap. Vector displacement maps are useful for any type of surface change that is not exactly perpendicular to the base mesh's polygons. That's a lot of technical mumbo jumbo going on there and there's a lot more going on under the hood and you can research more if you're really interested, but I think it's time for us to go ahead and create our own VDM brush. Here's my most recent character that I've been working on. It's Marina from Splatoon 2. Link to the time lapse of this character in the top right hand corner of the screen. You can check that out if you're interested. We are going to look at the tentacle sucker that we have here. I've created and used a VDM brush to create all of these. And I'll show you how you can do the exact same thing for any kind of surface detail. We're going to begin by grabbing a plain 3D, clicking make poly mesh, and then turning on polyframe. Use the mask brush with control held to mask out the edges. Then control click the canvas to flip your mask. Next, press Ctrl W on your keyboard to polygroup the masked polygons. And let's turn on radial symmetry. We are making a tentacle sucker, so this is gonna make it a lot easier for us if we have symmetry on. So transform, make sure symmetry is on here. Turn off X, turn on Z, and click R to activate radial symmetry. Finally, just turn up the radial count to about 24. Next, I'm going to subdivide this plane, but before we do, we want to come down into our geometry palette and turn off the smooth modifier. And then just go ahead and subdivide up to level six. Now, the reason we polygroup that outside edge was so that we do not modify it while we work. By activating the transpose tool or the gizmo and control clicking this inner polygroup, it will mask everything except the one we choose. We want to keep the outside of that perfectly square for the brush to work properly, so just keep that in mind. But if we do screw it up somewhere while we're working, we can always correct this. Go ahead and head down to the deformation palette, click on morph to grid and slide that all the way up. But for now, we should be good to move forward, so let's go ahead and begin sculpting. I'm going to start with my standard brush, stroking around to create a cylinder. We can repeat that a couple times to build up the shape even use a little trim dynamic to flatten parts of the surface. The entire time I work on this shape, I'm going to step up and down my subdivision level so that I can smooth out certain parts and adjust things a little bit easier on a lower subdiv. Once you get a decent base shape, you can start creating the inner portion of the sucker. I'm just going to drop in the middle part a little bit and use my trim brush to flatten it out and build it up. I'm doing that by holding the Alt key as I stroke. You can add different details and forms to create your very own brush as well. Turning off symmetry is a good idea if you want to add some variance that way. Now I have sped up the footage so that we can get through this a little bit faster, but once you are finished and you are ready to make your brush, head on up to the brush palette and dock it over on your sidebar. Once there, click on your brushes and select the chisel 3D brush. You should have your different maps available to you at the top of the screen. Can change how that works in your preferences under interface insert multi mesh viewer make sure you have the chisel 3d brush selected turn off perspective look directly at your mesh and click from mesh you can see that your mesh was added to this brush as a new map you can click and select it and then use it much like an insert brush to place it on any mesh from there so if you have a tentacle or anything else you would like to add some suckers to, you can simply click and drag to add that new detail. If you want to save your brush, I would recommend deleting everything out of the chisel 3D brush under Create, Delete Mesh. Make sure your sucker is the only map available, and then save your brush as tentacle sucker or whatever you happen to be working on at the time. Alright guys, hope that was helpful for you. If you want the 3D model of my Marina character, this brush that I just made, or any of the other stuff I make, you can head on over to my Patreon and grab it over there. 
Thanks for watching guys, hope you learned something new, and I will see you all in the next video.